President Volodymyr Zelensky presented Ukraine's much-debated victory plan at Parliament on October 16. The proposal is comprised of five points, an invitation to join NATO, a defense aspect, deterrence of Russian aggression, economic growth and cooperation, and post-war security architecture, according to Kiev Independent. If the plan is supported, we can end the war no later than next year, Zelensky said in the parliament in the presence of Commander-in-Chief Oleksandr Sersky, military intelligence chief Kirillo Budinov, and Western diplomats. Ukraine's invitation to join NATO was placed at the top of the list. Kiev submitted its application to join in September 2022 but has yet to receive a clear signal from the Allies. Zelensky said that the step should be taken now, representing a shift from his earlier comments that the move might be delayed until the end of the war. The second article stresses the need to bring the war to Russian territory, such as during the cross-border Kursk incursion launched in early August. This item also calls for lifting restrictions on long-range strikes in Russia, additional supplies of long-range capabilities, and Western support in downing Russian missiles and drones over Ukraine. The third point refers to non-nuclear deterrence and includes a secret part. Ukraine is proposing a comprehensive non-nuclear strategic deterrence package on its territory that would safeguard the country against future aggression. The fourth part addresses Ukraine's use of its natural resources, such as uranium, titanium, and lithium, which present economic growth potential for Kiev and the EU. Ukraine is offering a special agreement on joint investment and use of these resources with the EU and the US. The part also calls for ramping up international sanctions against Russia to undermine its ability to sustain its aggression. The fifth part relates to Ukraine's post-war security architecture. Kyiv boasts a large and experienced military force that should strengthen NATO and the European continent, Zelensky said. After a meeting with Ukraine's top military command on Monday, during which Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky was briefed about Russia's winter and autumn plans, he cited the actual involvement of North Korea in the war. Whoever helps Russia, we will respond as firmly as necessary to defend Ukraine, Zelensky said in his nightly address to the nation. He also said that his victory plan, which he dubbed as Ukraine's strategy to compel Russia to a just end to this war, will be presented this week to all our partners in Europe. He added that the plan will be presented publicly, including the initial response we have already received from our partners. He also said that 1 million Ukraine funded drones have been delivered to the front line as of Friday. Серед головного була доповідь розвідок служби зовнішньої розвідки та ГУР щодо намірів росіян на осінь зиму. Все доволі детально, фактично включення у війну Північної Кореї. Також відносини Росії з деякими іншими країнами, які, на жаль, інвестують у затягування війни. У відповідь дав конкретні завдання силам оборони, силам безпеки, уряду і нашим дипломатам. Хто б не допомагав Росії, будемо реагувати так жорстко, як треба для захисту України. Буде і відповідна наша робота з партнерами, щоб російські наміри не спрацювали. Цього тижня ми представимо всім партнерам у Європі нашу стратегію примусу Росії до справедливого завершення цієї війни. Звичайно, план перемоги буде представлений публічно. Причому вже разом з тим першим реагуванням, яке ми отримали від партнерів. Станом на сьогодні є вже мільйон дронів, які були закуплені за державний кошт та поставлені на фронт. І це тільки те, що робить держава. Є також постачання від волонтерів, від усіх, хто підтримує. A man who was convicted in Russia over social media posts which criticized the country's fight in Ukraine was released from prison on Tuesday. Alexei Moskalev, 55, a single father was met by his daughter Maria outside the jail in Tula region. After his release, Moskalev told OVD Info about his experience spending two months in prison. 
He likened the conditions inside his cell to a torture chamber that was two meters by one meter in size. At first, I was sitting alone, then they put a second person in, he said. Moskalev also claimed that the jail's floors were rotten, rats were everywhere, coming from the sewers and everywhere. In 2022, his daughter refused to participate in a patriotic class at school and made a drawing which said, no to war, and glory to Ukraine. He was then investigated by police and indicted over a series of social media posts about Russia's activities in Ukraine. Moskalev was sentenced to two years in prison, but fled house arrest hours before the jail term was handed down. He was arrested in neighboring Belarus and extradited to Russia. Moskalev's daughter was dispatched to an orphanage following his arrest. Конечно, все эти два месяца я сидел. Условия были, ну, сказать, не сказать ничего. Это просто камера пыток. Это камера пыток была просто. Что находилось в камере? Во-первых, камера была 2 на 1 размер. Понимаете, что такое 2 на 1? Сначала один сидел, и потом второго посадили человека. Вот мы вдвоем два на один вот в этой размере камеры сидели. Полы гнилые, крысы повсюду, из канализации везде лежат, крысы огромные. Из одежды было только вот, вот этот вот этот все, и маечкой на голое тело. На голое тело, да. Холод, это просто собачий. Это просто, знаете, не передать словами. 16 часов на ногах. Приходил стоять, потому что кровати утром пристегивались к стене, чтобы не могли ложиться. И 16 часов до сбоя мы стояли практически на ногах. Сидеть невозможно было, лавочка маленькая, металлическая. Э, настолько она была прокалена ледяная, что на ней просто сидеть невозможно было.